Hello everyone. Uh, do you need some ideas for some little mini journals? Well, I've got three here that I made. Don't ask me why I made three. I don't know. Uh, but I want to share them with you. I think they're really cute. I really enjoy having them. I love to journal. I journal all the time. This is the first one that I did. I spent a lot and a lot of time on this guy. Uh, I titled it Thoughts and Things. I just did a standard ribbon, some eyelets for the closure, and this is the standard binding that you've seen on, on my other videos probably. And I just used the, the um, manila envelopes, I'm sorry, not the manila envelopes, the uh, file folder uh, dividers as my cover, and I distressed all of this. This is distressed. Everything was white paper. I used white paper like this, but I used a, a higher poundage than your standard paper. I think it was 24 or it may have been 28. Anyhow, I'll go through it with you. I put some stamps in here. Here, I distressed every page. That's why it took so long. This is a little, um, a uh, picture I got off of Two Peas in a Bucket's website. This is all distressed. This is some um, cardstock that I had and I scanned it into my computer and then printed it on this paper and then added the stamps. This is an envelope I got off of, I think it was either Microsoft Word, temp the templates either has this or I might have gotten the pattern off of about.com which I found on um, Google Images. So it's an envelope. Basically what it is is you treat it as two sheets of paper and um, so this closure, this, this, the this is the middle of this signature pack. I want to find it and show you what I'm talking about. So each signature is made up of a bunch of pages. Oh, I can't show you because it's glued together. If you can see down in here, um, that's where the string goes through. So it goes through the signature pack. And then after I put it through, I glued it. I had to put this pattern paper on the inside because I forgot to um, uh, clear out the the directions on how to where to fold and cut the envelope so it was all written under here and I've got some things in here I left a lot tried to leave a lot of space I just want to use this for journaling on our trip this is a little envelope I don't know what I'll do with it or if I'll use it but I did think it was cute and this I did get off of the templates from Microsoft Word these are some wallpaper clips that I had uh, this is with the same set of pictures that I got from Two Peas in a Bucket, and I only adhered three sides, so it makes like a little pocket there. I've added these lines with on some of the pages, and when, when you do that, you have to remember that if you're doing only the one side, whatever you do is going to come on the opposite side of this page. It's kind of hard. So this one only has one side. And then this one has one side. So this is the other side of this one. Do you see what I'm saying? And that's a picture I got off of Google Images, a stamp. Again, this was some cardstock that I had that I uh, scanned in and printed on this uh, paper. Stamp. Some stamps. I made these little envelopes. I did not have a template. I just made them. And this is part of that um, the paper kit from Two Peas, two peas in a Bucket. And more cardstock that I printed on the scanned and printed. And I just eared here these two pieces of paper together to make a little pocket there. And a stamp. Picture from um, this picture actually I think is a free pattern from Two Peas in a Bucket. And I made one of these little spiral things, which I think I got that pattern off of Google Images for free. And I put all my little extra paper clips in here. Let's see. A 
picture from Microsoft uh, Word. The stamps. Another one of those envelopes printed on the, at a different size, and I, I put it in black and white and distress it. Who knows when we're sailing around the world what I'll have. I don't know, but I'll find stuff to put in those all these little pockets and envelopes. There's three of these envelopes in the book. And I think there's three of those um, little envelope, those little envelopes. This was off of Google Images, I think. Here's a little, a little pocket that I made with some scratch paper. This is my kitty cat Molly. Uh, I printed this picture for something else. Oh, I know. I printed it to put in this heart, and she wouldn't fit, so I just put it there. I'll put it somewhere permanent later. Here's some seashell stamps, or I'm sorry, sand dollar stamps. These roses were off of Word, I think. Stamps. There's another one of those envelopes. This one is uh, two pages together, but this time I used some of that decorative tape instead of gluing them. That makes it nicer because then you get the full length of the inside of the envelope. Two peas in a bucket. Two more of these little envelopes. another pocket and an envelope on the back. I guess you don't really need to see me open it, but anyhow, that is that one. And this one I thought was going to be my favorite and super cool and I was super excited about it and that's why I uh, spent so much time on it and it was the first one I did out of these little guys. Uh, this was an old flower that I had made for another project that I didn't use, so I put it on here, and I put this pattern paper in here with this um, metal heart ring that I just had left over. I don't even know why I had it, because I don't buy stuff like that, so it must have came with something else or something, but anyhow, that's that one. Okay, now the second album is made similar, but a little different. Uh, this one has, this is one piece of cardstock which goes um, all the way around and then I put some eyelets here and here which my original binding I was going to have those eyelets come through but I changed that up and I'll explain, I'll explain that as we go so instead because I already had those eyelets in there I had to put I put these string I put a little uh, this little brown string and some red like piece of yarn um, and I put a bunch of charms, six charms, three on each side. And I literally like it. I think it's so cute. I did not put a closure on this one. This is a journal, by the way, a homemade journal. I think I already said that in the first uh, book. But anyhow, um, let's just go through it. And I won't, I won't really bore you with all of it. I did not decorate the inside of this one, with the exception of this page, I, just because I had this postcard left over and I didn't know what to do with it. And I thought, well, I would put it in here. So, But what I do want to tell you is that these pages are not distressed. These pages were white printer paper, the same as the first book. The first book, I uh, distressed those. These are coffee stained. Real simple. I laid the, I laid the uh, piece of paper on my desk on some wax paper. You can use a cookie sheet or something. And then I painted with a large paintbrush, I painted the coffee onto the paper and then I put it in the oven, um, excuse me, for about six minutes on 200 degrees on a cookie sheet. I forgot to mention that I crumpled at first some of it, like this piece you can see it was crumpled. This piece was probably not so crumpled. These that are separated like this are simply because they were scratch. They were sc scraps. They were left over from what I cut off of these pages and I wanted to use them and they fit here. So I decided to put them in here and I like that. And this was another piece that was left over from something that I put in there. This is the new binding system, which I uh, look for a video on that. If it's uh, not up yet, it will be soon. But look for a video. I don't even know what I'm going to call it yet, but it's it's um, it kind of like laces through. So 
each signature group, each group is called a signature, and each group, instead of having the long piece with two holes, now you have four holes and two short pieces. And I'll show you in the next book, my third book has that um, system, so I'll, I'll explain that a little more there. But um, like I said, I won't go through all of this because it's not decorated. It's just different pieces of paper. Um, I think there's five signatures in here. Oh, and I do have an upside down page. You know, every book has to have an upside down page. And here it is. I did not plan that, but I think it's cute. So anyway, that is that one. So let me show you the third book. Okay, the third book is, again, it's one piece of cardstock, Love Letters by Recollections, that goes all the way around. And I closed it with a paper clip. You can see that there's room for expansion. Although I'm planning on making this simply a journal and not really for adding stuff, but I'll probably add stuff, you never know. Anyhow, this was a leftover rose flower that I had made, so I adhered it to the front because it looked good. And these are some little things that I was trying to use up, and I put those there. I think they're for making memories. I put this bead here and glued this uh, string. This is friendship bracelet string. I glued it there, and then I tied the end to this paper clip for the closure. I like that. So a couple things different about this book is I mentioned the binding system is different, so I'll go through that. But the other thing that's different are the pages. I wanted something really feminine and pretty. These pages are made with watercolor. I painted watercolors on them quite sloppily, and then for quick drying, I baked them in the oven for six minutes, 200 degrees, and I used a cookie sheet. And you could do, a, I could only do three sheets at a time on the cookie sheet. If you put, um, cover your racks with tin foil um, to, to create a barrier between the elements, then you could use, you know, you could fill your oven and do a lot more at a time. But it only took me about an hour, I'd say. So, yeah, all these pages are um, watercolor. And this is just the leftover butterfly that I had, and there's three of those in there. Otherwise, it's not decorated. I think there's a few things. This page um, is just a pocket, and the reason for that is because in, I let it soak too long in the watercolor, and it tore. And um, the other side, it tore right down the middle where the score line was, so the other side is here somewhere. It's right here. So instead of throwing those away, I just glued them to make a couple of pockets here. I love the colors, and I told my husband, I said, they don't really match the outside. The outside does a different kind of look to it. And he said, never judge a book by its cover. I thought that was cute. Here's the binding system. I like that the pages are crumpled, and they look old. I crumpled them before I painted them with watercolor. And I had some few little extra things like this that I, that I stuck in here, just glued down. So anyhow, that is that. So this is what the outside of the binding system looks like. This one has six signatures in it. So basically, you go in your bottom hole of your second signature, which is going to be your bottom second hole, and then you're going to crisscross and go into your fourth top. Explanation for you, I will do a video, and depending on when you watch this, I'll, do, I'll make sure I do a video of one and get it on there for you because it's a really cool binding system I kind of uh, learned uh, by accident. Uh, I did not find this on YouTube or from anybody else. What it was is my...